Hi, Kara Sheftel with BDS. Let's look up how you set up your printing preferences on your computer so that all of your programs have the same default. Let's look at it together. Today, I'm going to do it for a Kyocera Task Alpha 4054 on Windows 11. The first thing that I'm going to do is go to my control panel. If you do not have it on your taskbar, you can just search over here, control panel, and you will find it. We're going to do view devices and printers. And then we're going to go printers and scanners. This brings up all of my printers and scanners that I have. I am going to use this one here and I'm going to open it and I'm going to go into printing preferences. Because I am doing this in the control panel, this will be global. If I want to set printing preferences for specific programs, I'm going to open Word, for example, print something and it will keep those settings. I recommend setting your printing preferences and then not letting Windows make any changes after that because they will always be your defaults. So let's open our printing preferences and it pulls up the Kyocera driver essentially. This is what it looks like when you do file print when you're in a program. But right here, this is the global settings. So you're going to have different information and everything that you do here will take effect across all of your programs. So the first thing that I want to note right here is that I have it on full color and this can be very, very expensive because it's going to print every single page in color, whether it's black and white or not. If I'm feeling a little cost conscious, I might do all black and white as my default and then have to manually select color. But personally, um, I don't want to make a mistake like by choosing color later and having it always then default in that specific program, especially when you're looking at like email or something. So mine that I like to pick is auto color. What it's going to do is it's going to print any page that's black and white in black and white and any page that's color in color. And it's going to look at it page per page individually. So I'm doing auto color. The other thing that I like to do is have duplexing. A lot of people don't like duplexing. You can turn it off and that's what it'll look like. If you turn duplex on, you want to understand which page you want to have it flip. If you flip on the long edge, it's going to be like reading a book when you put your pages into a binder. If you do this option, flip on short edge, it's going to be um, like you're looking at it on a clipboard. So I'm going to do this one. Uh, I can select my media sources here on a global way. Let's say that um, I always want to print on cardstock. I can do it here. I don't though. That's not how my job works. And so I want to leave those as auto. It's going to yell at you the less, less times when you use auto. So this is how I set those printing preferences. I'm going to hit OK. And I can close this and close this and now all of my settings are there from a global perspective. For all things print, you can reach us at bdsdoc.com or like and follow this channel.